Good day and thank you for joining us on Technology Access Television. Well, you made it possible for me to be here for 15, now going on 16 years, bringing this message of innovation and entrepreneurship, of technology and opportunity to you, the viewers of Chicago and the viewers from around the world. Yes, today, this show is seen not only here on Cable Access uh, Network here in Chicago, but it's also seen online, on YouTube, on Facebook. We're on so many different platforms. I am delighted and blessed to have this opportunity to share this conversation. Comes right out of a studio in Chicago, right into your home or catching you wherever you can to let you know that innovation is alive and well and coming from the wellspring of entrepreneurs right here in Chicago. And my guest today are reviving and reigniting a brand that has never been dimmed has been a light unto all humanity for over 110 years, bringing the best of journalistic integrity, of news and information, of lifestyle and culture. And they are rewriting the script because it's time to flip it. You can't keep coming with what you've been coming with. Maybe that got you to this point. But to move ahead, sometimes you have to break what's not broken, but reimagine it in a new way. And my guests today are part of that reimagining team of this vulnerable institution called the Chicago Defender. My guest today is none other than the people's editor of the Chicago Defender, my good friend Kyle Zabar. And joining her today is Goran Dillard, who is the vice president of digital sales and integrated marketing. And I'm so glad Goran is here because today we're going to talk business. This is the second part of a conversation that started with Kaye and myself. But now we're going to get past the, 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 the <coughs> motives, the, the spirit, the soul of the organization and start talking about cutting the mustard. What, how, how does this thing make money? How do you keep the lights on? How do you pay the staff? How do you engage the community? Because we all want a good conversation. But somebody's got to, you know, somebody's got to write some payroll checks every now and then to keep an organization going. And we want to find the intersection because as a trained marketer, yes, I know it's a shock to you folks. You say, I thought you were the technologist. Well, I am. I, I'm that too. But my core competency is really business, business development. And that really is all about customers, solving problems and trying to create a value proposition that allows me to receive remuneration, but also to continue the progress uh, in the process as it moves forward. And so I'd like to get in the conversation today, and I guess I'll start with the, the new person to this uh, panel. I'll start with Goran. And as you and I were talking uh, offline about something that's very, I think, an opportunity, and that is in this new flavor of digital and how digital is impacting publishing, it creates as many opportunities as it does obstacles. And you said that you were looking at some of your research and you find that a large number of people who uh, view and engage with uh, the digital side of the Defender are doing it on mobile devices. Could you speak to that a little bit? And what is the opportunity of mobile in your vision for the Defender? Absolutely, Bruce. Let me first say thank you for having me on. Uh, I'm a big fan of your show and Happy New Year to you. <laughs> My pleasure. <laughs> well, I, I want to say when we look at digital media, first of all, uh, the evolution has really created a revolution. Media consumption in our households, the way we relate to each other, the way we communicate on all platforms has just changed drastically. So we're not just trying to address this with you know, trying to capture the, the younger generation, the millennials. Um, it's really about trying to capture the essence of how we deliver our content, okay? And we're very cognizant of that, and the content delivery now is on multiple platforms. We're a multimedia company. The Chicago Defender is a multimedia company. We are uh, the Chicago Defender Media Group. 
we have um, and speak to that a little bit because again I want to put this in the entire context and, and give us a little background on real-time media a little background on the Defender Group. Um, some of us may know that there were multiple publications that were part of this, but could you speak to the, the picture? How, how are you structured? What is the, uh, the, the parent company and what is the local Sure, sure. There? It's a very exciting time to be where I am. Um, Kai mentioned it earlier, but to me, I'm back with the dream team. Okay. <laughs> it is wonderful to be uh, a part of the black press. Okay, now Kai mentioned that we're going into our 110th year, mm. our 110th year with the Chicago Defender. But we're also, 2015 is also going to be our 75th anniversary year of the black press. And the significance behind this, Bruce, is Chicago Defender was the one that created the trade association known as the National Newspaper mm. Publishers Association. Okay. okay? Now, Real Times Media, our parent company, is very, very active in NNPA and the Trade Association. And um, I've been affiliated with NNPA in the black press for over 12 years now. All right. Um, the parent company, Real Times Media, has uh, four iconic brands the Chicago Defender, the Atlanta Daily World, the Pittsburgh Courier, and the Michigan Chronicle. Mm -hmm. Now, if you think of the significance of these brands and the content they provide, all right, um, look at the Chicago Defender, for example. No one else is really at the forefront and cutting edge. We coined the phrase, the promised land for Chicago. We were the media organization that was single-handedly responsible for uh, over half a million people migrating to northern cities from the south. Great migration. So the great migration, and we're on the eve of that right now. Exactly. So um, Illinois, the great migration movement for African Americans coming up from the southern states to the northern, uh, it's our bicentennial year. So um, with Chicago, we played a role on that. With, you know, um, Detroit, we were instrumental in, you know, uh, this whole movement, you know, during the civil rights, uh, all of the things that were going on right there with all of the transition. Uh, the Pittsburgh Courier, a lot of people don't realize how significant that particular media publication was. And, and, and while I'm not a, a, a journalistic historian, but... Uh, was the founding of the Courier, was that part of um, uh, Sinstack's uh, effort? Is that something that he, he actually uh, spawned that publication Absolutely. along with the publication? You're talking here? about distribution in 71 cities at the time. Mm -hmm. It was unheard of. All right, so. And at a time, too, when we are getting uh, eased out of media ownership. You know, I'm yes. sitting here listening mm -hmm. to you and you're talking about 110 years and I'm saying, I know guys that bought radio stations and couldn't hold on to right. them for 10. That's right. And, and we're, uh, you know, uh, we, we've been getting pushed out of uh, media ownership. Uh, we, and at the same time, uh, Congress has allowed uh, unheard of uh, uh, monopolies and oligarchies to come in and not only on radio but TV but all, on three and four newspapers all in the same town that was something that we grew up that was like against the law right. and now people can right. and so this is so important for you guys to still have this franchise but it's even more important that that franchise blossom into some of these new digital directions because people now um, uh, are, are you know Kai you talked about the young people and their first options for getting news and information. Many of them don't subscribe to cable. Mm -hmm. They don't uh, subscribe to a newspaper. They don't subscribe to anything. So then if they decide that the Defender Digital Daily is going to be one of the things that's going to be a part of their life, that could become their primary gateway to the world and knowing what's going on and having some hook that's the goal. of connection. <laughs> okay. That's the goal. Yeah. Because no. they're, they're, they're just not, uh, they didn't grow up on uh, 2, 5, 7, and 9 or, or, or maybe tied to a Sun-Times or a Daily News or a Tribune or any of these kind of things. These are things they don't know anything about. So how does digital embrace the, the totality 
of the, the, the black consumer market that you're looking at? And what are some of the business opportunities that you see as a result of engaging this, this dynamic market from beginning to end? It, it it's all comes down to access. The game changer, Bruce, was 1991 when the cell phone basically evol evolved into the smartphone, okay? Why do I say that? 1991 was when you were able to access the internet from your phone. It's a whole different ball game now. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now you have content being consumed on mobile devices, smartphones, and tablets. The access to that is very, very important. All we are providing is a distribution channel. We're providing uh, a unique and, and a perspective, uh, a voice, if you will. So um, it's taken some effort to make that transition from uh, traditional media platforms, as Kai was talking about earlier, to uh, digital, but we've had to accept this whole evolution okay, of uh, how we're communicating with one another um, and how we make decisions. You go out to make a purchase, okay? You're an informed consumer. What's the first thing you do? You may pull out your phone or your tablet, do a little search of the place, mm -hmm. <laughs> see where you're going to. If you're um, going to do a little deeper dive into that, Bruce, you're going to you know, really do some heavy digging and, you know, you're going to look and see um, if anyone else has been to the store oh, and no, no, no how they've rated it. it and what kind of reviews on it. This is standard now. Okay. Now, now are, are you guys, and, and Kai, I'll, I'll, I'll switch to you. you. You describe, you know, your uh, professional approach to content creation, that it is thoughtful, it is based in a process. Mm -hmm. There are fact checking, there's research, there's engagement. Mm -hmm. I may have to talk to a number of people before I actually come forward with what actually happened. Are you having that uh, same, are, are, are people coming to you with wanting to have this kind of engaged dialogue? When I say people, I mean other brands, marketers, corporations. Again, this is, you guys are an institution in our community. Is there, a business equation that says let me come to this community with integrity and have a panel and a conversation and a thoughtful dialogue let me not just throw stuff at them and say don't y'all just love it D is is there a two-way oh, yes. street do, yes. do you see that there yes. are uh, but that's not new you know mm -hmm. that that's not new in in terms of the media yes the the business they do come to us from the editorial side okay and <laughs> That's that's Good. always, I mean, particularly I could think of you know the entertainment industry. I can think of um, government. I could like uh, covered. What is it? Get covered, Illinois. You know mm -hmm. they've approached us, um, and then and I want to get back to Gorham because I want to talk about the whole world of automobile, the automobile industry, and how that's changed and how it, it has definitely. Uh, integrated itself into the whole uh, digital world. But yes, to answer your question, yes, people do seek us out. And I think that with some of the testimonials that we'll have in the upcoming year, more and more, we have a, a particular uh, advertiser, uh, um, small independent entrepreneur who owns uh, Abundance Bakery. <laughs> mm -hmm. He advertised with us right before the Thanksgiving holidays. Mm -hmm. Guess what? He had too much business. Right on. He had to uh, go get his family to assist him, and he was very nervous about the upcoming, you know, Christmas holidays because it means he's going to have to hire uh, new or additional now, staff to help. But that, it was that's from the, best the ad. News I've heard. Isn't that true? Yes. Well, he told us that seriously. And yeah. you know, <laughs> no one ever hears about a problem like you have too much <laughs> that's business, what I said. but. He got overwhelmed, Bruce. But now, but now this, is, this is really critical. He couldn't it, handle it, it, the flow it, of well, traffic. This is critical. Uh, I, I do a lot of uh, teaching and instructing on marketing and technology and the use of marketing and technology for small businesses. And what, what comes along for the ride when people pick the right platform are some of these benefits. Um, when, when people start to realize that you could use social media more than just 
for personal reasons, but you could use it for business reasons. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, what came along for the ride was mobile. <laughs> that if you had a Facebook business page, you also now could have a mobile capacity that maybe you didn't have on your regular website. Right. So if you were communicating with your audience on Twitter or communicating with them on Facebook or LinkedIn, now mobile came along with that platform. So now I'm sitting here listening to you guys and I'm saying, guess what? Maybe the Defender is our platform. So maybe me as an abundance bakery, I don't have a web designer and all this and that. But if I could be participant yes. on the Defender platform, really what I'm interested in is customers. Yeah. I'm interested yeah. in the phone yeah. ringing. Yeah. Yeah. And you make that available because when somebody is getting that uh, daily uh, Defender daily digital edition right. and they're saying, guess what? I need to get a cake for my mama right. and let me boom right here and maybe make that phone call on the phone. That's what I'm talking about. Our now, offer, that's business opportunity. Our offer is extremely unique in Chicagoland. No one is coming with an iconic brand that's trusted, influential, the digital touch points, the components, whether it's, you know, um, video, uh, social media. And then we give you one more, mm. which is direct contact with our events. No one is doing the level of engagement marketing that we do throughout the year. Um, it's just, it blows me away. Um, Kaye mentioned it a little bit, what next month we're doing, recognizing all the, the men in the community, men of excellence. I mm -hmm. believe this is what, our eighth, ninth year into it. Back in, um, fast forward to April, we'll recognize the women of excellence. Um, Kaye and I are working on a program that's very exciting where we're going to pull out our digital archives and um, create a, a 50 piece exhibition that we're going to host in Harold Washington Library. Mm. And um, it's called Journey to Empowerment. Journey to Empowerment <laughs> okay. is uh, just a brainstorm that has, you know, created so much energy and buzz because of the value of the archives. It's, it's how we're bringing our history to life. And um, that content, okay, um, is valuable, not just for the exhibition, but for the subscription base. And we want to move more into that, Bruce. We want our content to be accessible, okay? We want people to use it not just for stories, uh, historical content, but we want to be able to, you know, have subscribers and it also introduces Please. our mm -hmm. you know archival uh, uh, library which we have mm. and there's got to be one of the most uh, impressive extensive libraries. and right. impressive and used and mm. sought after wow and we will have interactive pieces at the library too to help uh, teach youth who will be going in on field trips you know mm. with the public schools to learn how to research the Chicago uh, I mean, to the, yeah, the Chicago Defender. But I wanted to just mention, and, and you know this person too, our uh, new um, arts and culture editor, Candace Hunter, is also the curator. So okay. it's going to be very a exciting. A real artist. Yes, a real, a real artist. artist. <laughs> That's wonderful. But, but the, the, and, and I'm so glad you're saying this, Kai. And, and oftentimes, I, I think our community, uh, and I, I really feel this, that there's so many aspects. When, when, I, when I use the term business, I am not excluding culture. Mm -hmm. No, absolutely mm -hmm. not. Culture is business number one. <laughs> absolutely. Thank you. And, and, <laughs> and when, I mean, really. Absolutely. Because when you, know, when you think of the, 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 the history of Chicago and you think of uh, the art movement, mm -hmm. you think of, uh, uh, of the writers, everything, well, these people were selling books and poems and stuff right. all over the world. Yes. And this is what put Chicago on the, on map, the map was our cultural uh, creativity. And you know Langston Hughes and Gwendolyn Brooks were contributors to the Chicago Defender. No question about Absolutely. it. And so I, I want our community, and, and, and I'm really, this is why you guys being here today are so important. Because people ask, you know, people say, well, you're a technology show. Why are you talking to the Defender? Well, what does technology have to do with the intersection of innovation? It's got everything to do with it. Because what the reason Chicago is known is because of that culture and that creativity, that black culture, that black creativity. If you go to Paris, if you go to Berlin, if you go to Dusseldorf, if you go to Seoul, they're going to say, 
and you, you've had the experience. You haven't been a, the defender not even a year, <laughs> and people are contacting you from all over the world yes. because they say, I saw this, I saw that. So the world is hungry for authenticity, for integrity, yes, for are. depth and substance. And part of the reaction to the world is saying, we thought America had progressed. You mean you all are still giving a brother and sister a hard time? What exactly. is up with that? How are you all telling us what to do? And so I believe that as we uh, uh, elevate with the assistance of your platform, yes. this will bring economic opportunity because people will say, I want some of that authenticity. Mm -hmm. I want to get that book. I want to get that music. I want to see that play. And one thing that we oftentimes don't appreciate in Chicago is every given week, there are tens of thousands of people coming to this city. That's right. And are coming to town saying, well, while I'm here. <laughs> let me check something let out. Let me check something out. And I'm not talking about Colonel Sanders. Yeah. I'm talking about, <laughs> I want to go with something real because I read about yeah. Charlie Parker. I yeah. read about That's right. uh, the jazz. I read about Bronzeville. I read about this. Where did this actually happen? Let me go see. Well, speaking of which, uh, Stevie Wonder was just here. Mm -hmm. And he had his people, who, by the way, some other people were trying to ignore us, but he had his people call. He said, you know, the Chicago Defender is one of my very favorite, you know, newspapers. So you make sure they're here. Wow. Stevie Wonder said that. Right And on. we were going, but it was, you know, we had a little challenge with some of those folks. Right on. But mm -hmm. it was very clear that people do, you know, know and respect the Defender. And so we have to continue, you know, that legacy. And I'm here at the editorial helm to make sure that we you know, provide that type of, you know. And, and I'm sure, again, turning around or, or, or enlivening a legacy brand is, is, is a challenge. And, and in this time where it is maybe inappropriately said that, uh, well, people don't read anymore and right. they, don't, they don't look for depth anymore and all of this, uh, as, as you start to, what's, what's the, why do you know that you're on the right path? How, how are your customers responding to these digital moves that let you know that you're on the right path? What kind of feedback are you getting? That's a very good question. Um, well, we're always, we're visible. We're visible once again, okay? Um, when we distribute the newspaper and they bury us under a pile in one of our grocery stores <laughs> and, <laughs> we, you know, no one knows where to find they always seem to find out, you know, what's going on, okay? Um, when we have breaking news, okay, they know about it. Mm -hmm. And I, we know now that it's because of our digital. So are you using analytics? Are you... We're using uh, analytics. You're, you're saying, okay, this is, this is where they're coming to the page. This is what's happening. Oh, yeah. A and then have you created a, a robust... A social portfolio. I uh, am so thankful and grateful. We call Kai Elzbar <laughs> our voice. <laughs> she has created and ignited practically a movement mm -hmm. uh, between her and our publisher Cheryl Maynard. It, the energy. So level. they brought their. They Google, were just on the cover they, they, of they, Cranes. They brought their Google Plus following and their Facebook following and their Twitter well, following. Well, everyone so, now is okay. Our numbers are through the roof. I believe. Um, I want to say, what was it? Up to a million. Like nine hundred thousand. Nine hundred thousand. It just, was unheard yeah. of. It wasn't yeah. even a quadruple. So then, this, this 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 conversation today is really a chance for our listening audience. You know, a lot of times people say, well, I want to get on something on the ground floor. I want to know about something before the train leaves the station. Well, now, this Come sounds like board. it's that kind of chance. Come on yes. board. Yes. Okay. Oh, but yeah. This time don't, don't, we don't don't left the station, and now you have station. to catch up. <laughs> but this time we don't have the Pullman porters. That's right. Okay. Well, mm. come on board. Right. Because the train is moving. All right. And the content is always going to evolve. We always have to give the people what they want. Mm -hmm. And we have to give it from a unique perspective. Um, so we're not afraid of having that authentic voice. Mm -hmm. Sometimes that's a very challenging thing. Uh, if you speak the truth and you're the local jet, so to speak, <laughs> mm -hmm. where everyone believes what's going on because you said it, then, you know, you run the risk, oh, okay, are we going to, 
lose an advertiser here or there. That's not happening now. And, and, and just, uh, just so I am uh, uh, all in, in fairness to, to my audience, my audience uh, is concerned about uh, science, technology, engineering, and math, concerned about uh, being in the places where we can be to leverage the future that is unfolding. And so nobody wants to get stuck in the old way. People want to be involved in the new way. And so our, our, our sometimes people might look at a publication and say, well, okay, you're covering civil rights and you're covering education and you're covering politics. But people want to also know that you're talking about innovation, that you're Absolutely. talking about business, that you're talking Absolutely. about entrepreneurship, you're talking about investing. Absolutely. You're, you're not, and again, you can't talk about everything, but, 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 but they do want to know that from our perspective, yes. because the stories, again, had I, I'm so happy you guys are here. Uh, I, I, this is really, to me, breaking news, that, that this digital platform mm -hmm. that's working for shop local, people in Bronzeville, mm -hmm. people in community, mm -hmm. that they can have success with this. This isn't just about, because oftentimes we look at our, our, our press, and our press gives us the opinion that if we're not, you know, a Fortune 500 company, don't bother to call them up and figure out how they can work for you. But you are much more rooted, and this is maybe an opportunity that is a vehicle that as all of this explosive stuff is going on, we want to know, well, who's our Facebook? Right. You know, who, who's our Google Plus that I can hook my wagon to is going to bring me some customers in my business. It sounds like you guys are creating that kind of platform. That's Even whether it's traffic, whether it's eyeballs, whether it's readers, whether it's users, you know, the engagement has to be consistent across the board, mm -hmm. okay? And the one thing that we're finding out is the whole notion and term of community has changed. So, okay. so before we run out of here and my, we're, we're up against, we're about to go out, where can people go and start to plug into this opportunity? Obviously, they can go to the website, but can they, uh, can people become subscribers? Uh, can they you have a, a daily uh, newsletter yes. that people can opt into? Yes. You got an app that's coming. What, what, what would you suggest? We encourage uh, all kinds of subscriptions to our print publication. You can also go online and uh, we're building out that platform. Join us, like us on Facebook, you know, follow us up on Twitter. The ChicagoDefender.com. All right. Okay. <laughs> Always Sign up the for desktop. the Digital Daily. Sign up, Sign for, up the for the Digital Daily. <laughs> well, Kai El Zabar, uh, the people's editor, the, uh, the, 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 the guru that's the coming voice. up with the, the voice that's coming up with hunches left and right that's moving us in a, a great direction. I want to thank you for being here. And I want to thank Goran Dillard for uh, being thank here to voice. talk about digital. I'm going to have you guys back because this isn't necessarily just a one-time event. The goal is to create engagement. And, and this public television show is to serve the public. And so I can say what I want to say, when I want to say it, how I want to say it. And I'm not beholden. I just want to get the information in front of the people. So I want to thank you all for joining me. Please. The ChicagoDefender.com, that's where you go to get this news, to get this hookup, to not miss this trade. The ChicagoDefender.com. My name is Bruce Montgomery, and thank you for making this. It's going to be our best year ever right here at Technology Access Television. We'll see you next time.